All right, you might have seen one of these before. This is called a gyroscope. And what we're gonna do, I've got a little motor here that will spin these up and get the wheel on the inside of the gyroscope spinning. So I'm using the motor because that is easier than doing it with a string to get it spinning and because the motor is gonna get this spinning much faster than I would be able to just using a string. So as I rev this up, what's happening is the wheel inside is spinning very fast now. And now that it's spinning, it has angular momentum. Angular momentum is conserved, which means that the total angular momentum in this gyroscope wants to remain the same. When I set it down on a flat surface, it'll start to proceed because there's a little bit of friction, but it can stay up, it's not toppling. This is very similar to any top that you might have played with as a kid, but the reason it wants to stay up is because it has angular momentum, and angular momentum can't change unless you apply a torque on it. So for this, it'll just try and stay going as long as it can, because that angular momentum can't change. There are a lot of different things you can do with this. So it's balancing on its own. You could theoretically balance it on your finger. I have a groove cut into the other side of this piece of aluminum that works almost like a spin station to help it stay in one spot. It can balance with very little precession, very little movement. I've seen people with a different end on these where they can run them across a string or get them to balance, but it's all the same principle. That conservation of angular momentum from that wheel in the middle spinning, it wants to keep spinning the exact same. Yeah.